obviously I'm overweight, Chloe's overweight, um, there was a few concerns, so it was a fertile for living lifestyle, which has been fantastic, I mean it's changed our lives. Well obviously it made us all think, you know, yeah, we were able to sit and watch television or on our tablets. Sometimes they go for what they feel now, you know, so it's like about being active, keep moving. To do with being helping me on the course by helping me out and pushing me to do it. If we hadn't have had this help, we more probably would have carried on the way we was. No exercise, you know, no trying to change our diet. I'm going on lots more walks and daily walks and exercise and um, I'm eating more veg and um, fruit. I feel a bit better in myself and especially when I'm walking around I can um, not be out of breath all the time and be a lot better, not be embarrassed. Um, I became my two's teacher when I was in year 10 at, um, at Hope School. Um, when I became involved with Matthew, I became um, sort of struck by how much his health affected his curriculum. He was um, very, he was a, a big lad, as people might say. Um, he um, was very lethargic. Um, he, there wasn't very much he could do within a physical curriculum. He um, was always very tired, didn't want to do anything, often refused to do things, mainly because he knew he wouldn't be able to do them. The next step for Matthew then was a referral that was made through school um, to the Let's Get Moving team and um, we sought support from them. So a gentleman called David Christie was involved with Matthew who attended weekly um, and Kind of built up a relationship with Matthew whereby then he involved him in lots of different physical activities beginning on a really really low level to a simple walk outside to building that up to team games becoming very competitive involving other students within the um, senior department and then college department so Matthew was joining in with his friends and his peers well Matthew now is a young man who's in his final year at college who is um, from the very first day I met him in class three, when he'd have been seven or eight, he's a completely mm -hmm. different young man. Yeah. Um, and if you'd have asked me when he was seven, would this be the young man he was presenting with now, I wouldn't have believed what we've got. If Matthew was here today, I'd be saying that I often think long and hard about who the people are in my life who inspire me. And he's definitely been for a number of years in my top three, definitely. So proud, so in awe and so inspired by him.